Hi everyone, it's Kate. Welcome back to my channel. I am here to plan another week in my Penny Pages A5 Pentrix planner. We're going to plan for the week of July 17th through the 23rd. Here is what this week uh, turned out like. Turned out like? How it turned out? Anyway, there we go. Uh, <laughs> we are going to be using, this is technically Sticker Buffet 6 from my shop. It is not actually in the shop currently in the Hobonichi Cousin format, but I was packing pl uh, pink planner sale orders the other day and um, I was packing this one up, like the standard vertical version for someone and I was like, man, I forgot how cute that is. And I'm, I really love s summer and lemons and pink lemonade in general. I'm just a big fan of. So I decided that I would format it for myself in the Hobo Cousin format. We may at some point reformat all of the sticker buffets to be available in Hobo Cousin. I'm not a hundred percent sure. So uh, there's that. So I have the full boxes and then I made my two um, functional sheets here. I'm going to keep the same format using these ones down the sidebar um, because I like it and it's working for me and we'll use these to fill in gaps. So yeah, let's, let's get started. I'm going to put my date covers down and then I will pop it off the uh, pop the sheets off the discs um obviously not as much of a risk of dating it wrong when the dates are on it but i would not put it past me to do that so let's just not risk it right all right tuesday so normally this video would go up on tuesday you are likely watching it well it's likely going up on wednesday this week and the reason for that is not that i'm late in filming it because it's saturday afternoon on the what are we the 15th so i am actually well in time and only technically a day later than i had planned filming it <laughs> so who um no the reason that it's going up on Wednesday is that on Tuesday, so if you're watching this, this went up yesterday, I shared the news that the <laughs> Frenchies under the desk snoring and making weird noises as usual. I shared the news that the shop is uh, no longer going to be my full-time job um, because there are some changes happening. Before I get into those, I actually do have date dots this time. And I think I have two different kinds to choose from here. So let's see what we want. I've got, got my kiss cut ones. And then these are from the old two kids ago format. No, I can't remember. Um, it's a little round ones. I think I'm going to use the round ones because some of these are quite tall. I think, hold on. What do we, 17th is Monday. Let's see. Yeah, they're a bit big. Uh, these ones might also be a bit big. I did find my tiny date dots just yesterday. I know approximately where they are. Oh, that's also quite large. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Oh my gosh, you guys. Hold on. So I've been going through things. <laughs> And I have this enormous basket of leftover sticker sheets that I need to sort through and um, like put in my leftovers uh, sticker book. But in here, and I bet it's right at the bottom, wherever there are a whole bunch of Hobonichi sheets, I think. I will also find my tiny date dots. And I even thought about keeping them out when I found them and then thought, well, I don't need those. So some things never change. Um, okay. Well, while I'm looking through these, let's see if I can multitask and I will tell you guys if you didn't see the video, so there is a little video up on the YouTube channel, so you can go and check that out. It's from uh, Tuesday, oh, 
hold on. Tuesday, July 18th, I think. Um, this, so I have been doing my, oh my goodness. point I'm gonna have to organize that maybe I'll do it live with you guys okay so these are tiny I they even have a number on them I never put them in the shop um they were made originally for how many two weeks and they're teeny tiny but I think they're gonna work for this so the shop has been my full-time job for 20 21 22 three years now which is crazy uh and I have Loved it. Well, I say three years. It hasn't been three years. Um, it's been, it's actually, no, it's been over three. Um, so, all right. <laughs> that was all convoluted. For over three years, the shop has been my full-time job and I have loved it and it has been fantastic for our family. Um, for all of that time, the economy has changed. Things are not as friendly as they used to be economically. And, uh, we were coming to the conclusion recently that, that I was going to need to seek, um, other work in addition to the shop. My intention has never been to close the shop. Um, and I still don't intend to close the shop just to make that clear. Uh, but you know, things, things have changed, um, with the economy and costs just keep going up and we, it's really important to us that we continue as long as possible to support Chloe with remote learning because it works so well for them. Um, but doing that requires one of us to be at home. So that's kind of where we've been. And it's, we've been, you know, it's always been a priority for us to continue that as much as, as, as long as we could. But um, the time was just coming for some things to need to change in that area. So I had just started um, looking at what the options were. I was hoping for something remote, um, but those jobs are not as easy to come by as they were a couple years ago. And then I was, um, you know, trying to figure out, like, could I even return to work outside the home logistically? Like, some, you know, Chloe needs support at home during school. Um, we went down to one car in 2020, and we like it, and we didn't really want to have to um, get a second car. So there was that. So I had just started looking. By the way, I'm going to put social and YouTube in the same um, section here because I think that that will, I think there's not enough going on this week in the shop to, to need two whole, um, sections for it. I do want, I intended to, um, have a work sticker here, uh, and I printed them, but I realized I made them tiny <laughs> instead of this size. I'm going to leave blank. I'll know it's for work. I'll make one later and stick it on. And then this will be life as always. So, yes, I had just started to try to figure out my options and an opportunity came along that was nothing short of serendipitous and a real blessing and something that I am so, so excited about. Um, so, essentially, it is a uh, part-time virtual assistant position. Uh, so it's remote. I get to stay home with Chloe. Uh, nothing changes there. I don't, we don't have to buy a second car. I don't have to buy pants. It's, it's great. Um, and it came about very quickly 
this past week. So it's not, you know, something that I've been sitting on and not telling you guys about for months. It literally just happened. Um, and in fact happened so quickly that the next day I was already doing some work. So things have shifted really, really quickly. Um, and it's a little bit, uh, it's not daunting. I'm excited for it. It's, um, it's just a bit of a whirlwind and that's okay. And things will calm down, but it's a quick pivot for me. So what it means, and I shared this in the video yesterday is that I do have to scale back on the shop, which is, Oh, you know, I want to, Oh no, that's fine. Okay. Um, I do have to scale back on the shop, which is, uh, it's in some ways bittersweet, but in other ways, I am, I am glad for the shop not to be my full-time focus for, um, for the next season, however long that season is, because, um, I'm not going to lie. It's stressful. <laughs> it's stressful. And just with this economy and how volatile it's been and how unfriendly it's been, um, it's, it's definitely been, <clears throat> um, it's, I've been working day and night for three years and I've been happy to do it. It has been a joy. I love what I do. Uh, it's just, it's a grind. And I am, I am looking forward to being a bit more of a side hustle for a while, <laughs> if that makes sense. All right, let me pause for one second. I am putting this sticker here for a mail drop. Um, this is just going to be a design list. I don't know how much design I'm going to get done this week, but I just thought I would have a bit of a master list and then the rest can, uh, sort of be figured out from there. Um, I don't remember what I was saying either, but that's okay. Uh, I need to put a, what am I, what am I doing here? Oh yeah. Okay. So that's for mail drop. This is for a PR team, um, task that I need to do. Uh, that will be my master design list for the week. Social. I don't think I have anything that day. I do have a few things to do this day. In fact, I think I'm going to use a three spot checklist for this. This is for work, which sounds very strange to say. <laughs> work other than the shop, but I think it's a good thing. I don't know exactly what releases and things will look like for the shop. To be honest, I really don't. Um, I am figuring it out as I go and I will keep you all up to date as I figure it out. Uh, it's going to be, I think it's going to be a, a little bit of winging it for a while and I'm okay with that. Um, and hopefully you guys are too, and hopefully you'll stick around. I'm not going anywhere. I'm still planning to do at least, at least one video a week on YouTube. The thing is that, you know, I may even have a little bit of like a little bit more time for things like YouTube. Um, if I'm scaling back on the shop and YouTube is something I used to put, if you're, if you're new here, you won't know this been around for a while. You will. Um, I used to put out a video every single day. Oh God, I'm mumbling this. Hold on. I used to put out a video every single day. Um, so all through, I want to say 2020, all through 2020. Yeah, I think so. Most of it anyway. Um, and so even a bit before that, I put out a video every day. I had a whole bunch of planners. I didn't Franken plan at the time. So I had a different video every day of the week, I think. And, um, 
yeah, I spent a lot of time doing it and I really enjoyed it. Editing has never been my favorite thing, which is why now I just like fly through these, well, fly through them. They're still like 40 minutes long. I don't know what I'm talking about, but, um, just sort of barrel through them and not stop because I hate editing, but, um, but I do miss being able to do more in this, in this area. So, you know, who knows if I'm not working seven days a week, 16 hours a day, maybe I'll have time for some more stuff like that, you know, an actual hobby. Okay. Put these down here just for, um, my husband's work schedule. I have an appointment on Monday to see the osteopath. So, uh, let's use this one. so yeah, big changes. Um, I think good timing for changes like that. Uh, and again, the way that it came about was just too, it was, it was just, it was honestly, it gave me goosebumps. Um, and, and I'm, I'm delighted. So that's, yes. I don't know how much I'm going to share about, um, that side of things. I will, there will be, you know, I'm, <laughs> one of the upsides to this is that I'm going to need a new work planner. <laughs> so this may become more of the, just, you know, the shop or life, the shop and life, something like that. Um, but I think I will need a dedicated work planner. I don't think one row in here is going to be enough. Um, not, don't know for sure yet, but I think this week definitely will be, um, this, this role was actually not supposed to start until August 1st, but, um, we literally just sort of rolled right into it and I love that. And so I'm just going with it, but, uh, for this week, I just needed a spot to put things. So I think that will work, uh, Tuesday, Tuesday. All right. I didn't print as many. I don't have as many of these quarter boxes as normal because as usual because um because I don't have that extra sheet that I've been using so I just want to make sure that I have enough of them for what I need and I think I do because I don't need that many so that's going to be I want to see if I can get a head start on well head start it's already going to be July 18th on August shop freebies. And I also want to put the sticker here because I need to start working on inventory because I want to do a stock sale, which I think you're actually going to hear about. I think the announcement's going to go up tomorrow <laughs> if you're watching this on the day it comes out. Um, so we're going to do a stock sale. So we need to do inventory that is for, oh, and I have some PR team stuff to do too. I only have two. Uh, okay. We'll use one of these then. I have two PR team things to do. So let's put that there and then I will pop some check marks down when we use orange. That's not the same. And that's not even in the spot. So yeah, that's the big news around here. Nothing nothing else crazy going on but that does feel like enough <laughs> of a change um I don't need anything else totally nuts uh, okay so then oh hold on Tuesday yes Tuesday I need to I need I need a three spot check three spot yes a three spot checklist and then, wow, I don't feel like I have enough checklists this week. Okay, we may get creative. And then I need a, well, tech.
technically I need a quarter box and then, but I'll just do it this way. So let's do this and make them match. Okay. So that will be for the announcement video, which I need to get up. And then this, nope, down here, I'm going to put another, oh, quarter box. Shoot. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, okay. I think I'll be right. Okay. So one of the things that I am doing this week is a giant office deep clean declutter d de everything uh there is so much stuff in here that's how that giant basket of leftover stickers came to be um there's yeah that I, i'm completely overwhelmed by how many random sticker sheets there are and i need there not to be that many lying around and while i'm not closing the shop i do want to sort of put some of that stuff away and be able to have a, you know, a clear workspace while I'm doing, um, other stuff. So yeah, that's, that's going to be a thing. Um, let's do, so we will have, oh, you know what? I kind of, they should have been flipped really. Cause that's the short end of the matter. Um, and then let's put this up here. So this will be for this video here. And then I want to, so normally for the videos, I put a little checkbox here. So I'm going to do that here as well. And then I'm going to add one here because I don't have room for that box as well. So I will just make it, that's the box I check when like it's uploaded and done and everything is good. So we'll just put that there and that will work just fine. Um, Wednesday, I need to call the bank so had to figure out for this job how to I needed to set up an American um like US funds bank account with a US bank so that was a bit of a um a bit of a thing to figure out. I think I did figure it out yesterday. It once now that I know it seems fairly straightforward, but it did not feel straightforward. Um, the other day. Okay. Also Wednesday, I want to put up here, up here. Yes. I'm going to work on, hold on. What is that there for? Yes, I want to. So if you haven't seen, there is a new um, section in the shop called um, Perfectly Imperfect. And it's the like oops and overstock section of the site now. Um, let me just put this over here. And I had it all organized the way I thought I wanted it. And then I've decided to change that around a little bit. So I'm going to work on that on two. Tuesday and Wednesday and then Wednesday sorry Thursday Friday and probably Saturday I'm gonna work on the inventory for the stock sale so if you haven't been around for one of our stock sales yet basically how it works is um, everything in the shop gets reduced to what I actually have on hand it goes on mega sale those orders are all ready to ship so they go out very quickly you guys get a great deal and you help me clear out some of my inventory drawers because they are getting stuffed full <clears throat> all right so that's for Thursday for inventory we are also going to announce that stock sale on Thursday so let me pop down a box for that you've you've now heard about it but it will be officially going up on Thursday um I need to what do I need to do I'm gonna put a box here I think just a single checklist for work I think there might be other stuff but like I said these are these are just the things that I can think that I need to either do or at least figure out how I'm gonna do <laughs> going forward 
Okay, and then uh so it'll still I think I'll still be working on the hold on. Let me use one of these. The office like organization that day. Uh, cause I think it's going to be a multi-day thing. And then my husband has a sleep study follow-up that I don't think I'm going to, but I'm going to mark down. I don't even know what time it is. Um, I think it's in the afternoon. I'm going to mark down just there just so I don't forget about it. <clears throat> Chloe's at their mom's this coming week, like this week that we're planning. So nothing to mark down for that. Other than we will be picking them up on, how did I mark that? Oh, I was gonna use one of these, but I don't have any left. So let's just use, um, yeah, it's fine. We'll use this one and we'll put that here to mark it. We'll pick Chloe up at eight o'clock that night. And what was the other thing? Because I'm all over the place. His sleep study, office reorganization, Friday. Okay, Friday we will have more inventory. Mm, will we? Thursday. Yes, I probably will not get it done in a day. Especially because I will have other things going on as well. Uh, where are we Friday? Friday, I will also get my stuff ready for filming on Saturday for um, YouTube. And then... That's still crooked, just in the other direction. Whatever, that's gonna be fine. We're gonna leave that the way it is. I'm not messing with that. And I do have, I have office reorg down here still again, um, which is is probably likely. So let's. Maybe my goal will be to be done on Friday. I might be done earlier. I got through more. In, like last night and today than I thought I did originally. I was really, really kind of um, stressed out last night when I was looking at it all uh, because it was just, I was instantly overwhelmed. My goal was to put things away and then I realized I don't even really have space to do that. So I had to figure that part out. Okay, this is for filming my plan with me for next week. Saturday, Thursday, Friday, I don't think, I don't think I will have anything. I feel like I can finish the inventory in these two days because I, last time I did it, I did it in my Etsy shop, which was a disaster and it, um, it took me two days, like two full days. So I think I have a better system now and um, I think I'll just be more efficient at it. So I definitely think two days, even if they're not full days, will be fine. All right, we have used none of like the little cutie little things here because, um, because it's all just been like to do to-do lists and things like that so far. And it might be that way this week. I will probably end up adding in some other stuff, but <clears throat> for now. Okay. I actually think that's everything, which is kind of crazy. I mean, it's not an empty spread by any means. I just thought I would have more than this. <laughs> Let's fill in some of the gaps because the whole point of using this week was to have these pretty lemon stickers. So this is just glaring at me with how um, crooked it is, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bug it. Okay, let's put you here. And 
definitely not going to do anything social tomorrow. Well, I'm not tomorrow, Monday. It's fine. I'm going to put a sticker down and then if I end up doing something, um, I'll just get ahead in other stuff for the week. I just know I won't be filming anything because my husband is home and I have nothing to post. So, okay. Um, not going to put anything in these two because I think things will... Well, they may pop up. I just don't know. I will put them here, though, because I imagine I'm not going to need to um, do any work on the weekend. And if I do, it'll just be stuff that is probably reflected in other days. So that is going to be fine there. I actually thought about blocking the entire day off on Sunday, uh, but I don't even know what I would do with myself. But I'm kind of, I'm kind of thinking about it, honestly, like leave that one open because it's family stuff, but then block the whole day off. That sounds wild, right? You know what? I think I'm going to, and then if I want to do something, I'll do it. But to not have the, uh, like the pressure of needing to or I'll fall very far behind um, is appealing to me right now. So let's let's jump on that for a minute, right? I think I need this one up here. My gosh, look at this. My husband actually asked if we could do a date night this week. Maybe we will do a day date on Sunday instead. Okay, this is coming along. Not bad, not bad. Maybe we'll do one there and one there. What is it here? And slightly more pink up here. Oh, I didn't use either of these lemon ones, so let's use this. Oh my goodness. Okay. That's crazy. Look at this. A whole day blocked off. That's unheard of. Now, did I not put boxes down for something because I was worried I was going to run out of quarter boxes? Because I feel like possibly I did. I don't know. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fill in a few of the gaps like this. It doesn't mean I actually have to do anything if there's other stuff or just nothing for me to do in that area, but I like the look of it better. So let's do that. And I might do the same thing down here. Um, because I can use those as checklists as well, if I need to. Mm, what color? I think pink again down here. Pink. Maybe yellow, let's do yellow, it's nice and bright. Mm, no, we're just gonna go with pink. Oh, the important decisions in life, you guys. All right, let's pop that back on here. Okay, I think that is it. Okay, I actually love the way that this looks. It is really, really cute, and I'm very happy with it. And it feels manageable, especially because this design list here is just going to be a master design list of things that I want to do at some point. But like I said, I don't have the pressure 
for the next little bit of having to do it or else. Uh, I wish I had put the yellow one. Or actually the orange one. I can leave it, doesn't matter. Um, yeah, that's a big change and, it, and it's a nice one. So, okay, I think that that's it. Let's pop it back in the planner and see how it looks. How cute and summery is that? I am really in love with this. I'm really, really glad that I made this matching or this um, hobo sized buffet with this one. Um, like I said, this is Sicker Buffet 6. It's not in the shop and cousin format right now, but let me know if you want it because I could do that. Um, but it is in, in standard vertical, so feel free to check that out as well. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss future content. Um, come see us over on Instagram, Facebook. Check us out in the shop. All of the things. And I will see you all again soon. Bye, friends. Bye.